Welcome to your regular dose of red light therapy news, products, announcements, science, questions, and lots more. Let's start looking at new products. This month, a new company or a new website has launched. It is ProRLT.com. This is a subsidiary of Mito Red Light in America. What they've done is actually launched a business venture dedicated to commercial buyers. So if you head over to the website, and by the way, I'll put links to all the resources, all the articles, all the company's products, down below. Plus I do have discount codes for a lot of the products I mentioned in this video, so they will all be down below. I am affiliated, so if you use them, you save, I get a commission. Anyway, back to the Pro RLT website. If you head over there, you'll see they're selling their red light therapy bed, their red light therapy cabin, which is the booth that I've looked at before. You walk in, it's got panels each side. I think it's really cool. And then they've also got their Mito Red Light Commercial Premiere, which is a massive body panel. It's something like 1200 leds it's crazy now the whole purpose of this new venture is so they can focus primarily on the commercial clients gyms clinics biohacking centers but still i think some of the products on there are pretty neat and i would love to test them so hey let's see how things play out now the european company luminos red have just released their new luminos red essential this is their tabletop panel with a built-in kickstand that actually looks really nice and I will be reviewing one in the near future, so be sure to subscribe. Bond Charge have a new face and neck LED device. We're seeing more and more devices like this hitting the market. One day I may sit down and try and get all of them in one room and do a big comparison, though it's a lot of work, but we'll see. If it's something you'd like me to do, let me know. A few weeks ago, I reviewed the Huga Pod. Well, their Pod XL, the longer version, is now available on the website if you do want to get that. Chroma, the company behind Ironforge, that ridiculously powerful handheld red light therapy device, have just relaunched not only their website, but their D-Lite. So this is the D-Lite 2.0. Now what's really cool is, yes, this is a UVB light, so you can use it for vitamin D synthesis, but they're also including a bunch of red and near infrared wavelengths in there as well. You're getting your 297 UVB, 630 and 670 in the red, and then 780 and 810 in the near infrared. Now it is a big ticket item, but you are gonna get a lot of power from this device. And there is a discount code below if you do want to purchase one. Now I also have to mention there are a heap of new panels in the market. Some of them are already out, some of them are gonna be out hopefully by the time this video goes live and some are coming down the pipeline. I can't reveal too much because I've made a lot of promises, but what I can say is if you subscribe to this channel and maybe jump in our Facebook group, as soon as I can, I will be sharing the big announcements. Block Blue Light have just released their new fourth generation panel. It was only recently I reviewed their third gen Mega. It was a really, really good review. I liked it. Just before Black Friday weekend, they launched their fourth gen panel. I've just got my hands on one. It is a big improvement. You've got a touchscreen in there. You've got dual chip LEDs, nice blend of light. I will be doing my review on that very soon. So that will be out. So that's the first company. Next, we have Rojo Therapy Lights. They are releasing a new panel they're shipping it to me right now it's meant to arrive later this week i don't know much about it as soon as i do again i'll be sharing that information mito light the european based company have also released their fourth generation panel now i actually have two of their panels their mito hacker and their biohacker panel i've actually finished filming my reviews on those panels and i can tell you now they're really nice great touch screen it comes with an app and you're getting six different wavelengths. Those reviews will be out in the coming weeks. However, I have updated the Light Therapy Insider shopping tool with all the specs, so you can go in there and start doing some comparisons. Mito Red Light updated the Mito Pro range with the new Mito Pro Plus. Really though, the only big difference is the included remote control. And then finally, we have Platinum LED Biomax. Yes, the big one. These guys are coming out with rumored to be a new panel that has even more wavelengths. So I know last year they announced their seventh gen panel and this included blue light. Well, this new panel coming out is now their eighth gen panel. And yeah, it's gonna have another wavelength in it. Now, again, as soon as I know more, I'm gonna be publishing videos, shorts, and posts here and on the Facebook group. So be sure to get on the list and hit the subscribe button. I'll also do a first impression video on the new Biomax panel as well, because I know there is a lot of interest in their panels. Okay, speaking of Platinum LED, they have just released a new blog article on Alzheimer's and red light therapy. Check it out if it's something that interests you. Now, Rouge have put out an article on dermatitis, which is inflammation of the skin, and how red light therapy or photobiomodulation can help with that. 
Links are all below. And Kenny on have put out a great article on red light therapy and sports performance. And over at Light Therapy Insiders, we've dropped two massive articles this month. The first was on how often you should use red light therapy. And the second was everything you need to know about 810 nanometer light. Definitely check those articles out. And while you're over there, be sure to jump on the email list because we are publishing a lot of great content on that website. Okay, now for some science. This month, we look at a study on red light therapy and cancer. Cancer and red light therapy have always been a rather controversial topic. We know that red light therapy can stimulate growth, so it is often advised to avoid using red light therapy if you do have cancer or think you're at a higher risk of cancer. Well, in this review that's just been published, researchers find that actually the risk from red light therapy on cancer cells is rather low, but you still need to be very cautious. And more importantly, run it past your doctor before using any treatments like this. Now, I should mention that this study looked at skin cancer, but what was interesting is the use of red light therapy didn't speed up or, or create new cancer cells, nor did it change or destroy cancer cells. And it also showed that red light therapy didn't turn healthy cells into cancerous cells. So more research is needed, but this outcome is good. However, like I said before, if you do have cancer, I would be very, very nervous about using red light therapy. At a minimum, I'd be speaking to a couple of experts in the field and I am not one of them. All right, now for this month's Q&A section. Now, first up, I do have to say, jump in our Light Therapy Insiders Facebook group if you haven't. The group has exploded in the last few weeks. I, we've gone from 2,000 to 3,000 in a month or so. It's been crazy. There is a lot of engagement in there. Uh, if you do jump in there and you have a question, can you just use the search tool first? because chances are there's probably a, a really active thread already going on. Yeah, feel free to jump in there, post any questions or just follow along. Whether it's a health related question or a product related question, I'm in there, Bart's in there, and there's some really knowledgeable members in there as well. So come on over and say hi. Okay, so this week's question goes, Alex, I followed the dosing recommendations on a red light therapy product I just purchased. Unfortunately though, some of the chronic health conditions I suffer from have actually got worse. What's going on? Yeah, so this is a question or a comment that I do see on a regular basis. You need to remember that red light therapy is a hormetic stressor, just like UV light is or cold exposure or even training. These things are a stress on the body, but in the right dose, they do lead to benefits, to upsides, to improvements. However, if there's too much of that stress, i.e. you train for 12 hours a day, five days a week, or you stay out in the sun all day in the middle of summer, you can, of course, do damage. Not only that, if you have an underlying health issue, even a small amount of these stresses may be enough to make things worse. And that is true for red light therapy. In fact, in my recent interview with Scott Kennedy from Light Path LED, he talks about this. He talks about how you need to ease into a treatment and how it can do a lot of potential damage if there are some underlying health issues. And of course, if you get the dosage wrong. Now, dosing in red light therapy is a very complex, controversial topic. I wish I had some hard and fast guidelines, but I don't. I'm, I'm trying to figure them out, but I just can't. Saying that, if you've seen most of my product reviews, you'll see that the numbers listed on companies' websites or in the manual are often way off the mark anyway. So if you are following their dosing guidelines, chances are the numbers are wrong. And secondly, we don't even really know what optimal dosing is yet. So here's what I say to you. It's simple, just cut right back on the dose. Do shorter treatment times, do less frequent treatment sessions, stand further away from the device, but cut it right back, maybe to about a quarter of the dose that you're doing at the moment, and then see how you feel. Stick with that for a few weeks, and then you can adjust. And to be honest, this is true for anyone starting out in red light therapy. Don't go straight into hour long sessions five days a week. No one should ever be doing hour long sessions, but just ease into it. Do a few minutes every second day. See how you feel. Tinker, experiment, adjust. Now, if you are enjoying this video, here's what I want you to do. Just scroll down a little bit, use your thumb or your mouse, depending on where you are. Hit that like button. And then while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. I do a red light therapy news video every single month. In fact, this month, in a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do an end of year wrap. It's gonna be pretty cool and exciting. So you're going to wanna see that. Also, since you're down there, make sure you open up the show notes because I have links to all of the articles, products, research that I've mentioned in this video and a heap of discount codes and referral links. So if you still need to do some Christmas shopping, check out some of those products below. Now, over the last few weeks, there has been a lot of content on the channel. My channel has actually just hit the 20,000 subscriber mark, so hello to all the new people 
and thank you for everyone who has hit subscribe. Some of the videos I put out in the last month included my interview with Johannes from Clear Light Saunas. And no, that conversation wasn't all about saunas. It was actually about red light therapy and saunas and the difference between the two. Really, really good. Check it out. Secondly, there was my interview on the Best Cure panel. Some people have been asking me to review that for a long time. So hey, it's up. And then we had my before and after current body hair loss experiment results and a first look at the new Mito Red Light hair loss product. So check all of them out next month. All right. So this is a big one. I know in November's video, I said I'd be working on end of year comparison uh, series. And yeah, that's true. I have been working on it. I also said though, it should be out by now. And yeah, it's not. And it's not going to be out in 2023. Now, I apologize for that. And I hope you haven't been waiting. Uh, I did get out that pros and cons video around Black Friday weekend to at least get something out there. Check that out if you haven't, because that looks at some of these new panels, the Block Blue Light 4th Gen, for instance, and looks at the key pros and cons of each panel. But what happened is some panels got held up in freight, which meant I had to hold off doing my filming. I've had a lot going on here in my life. We're actually selling our property. I'll put a link to it below if you do want to buy a really cool property in New Zealand. So I've just been flat out with that and I've had to pack up my studio a lot. Long story. Anyway, the other thing is a lot of companies have said to me, hey, Alex, can you hold off another week or two or a month or two because we have a new panel coming out? Now, typically I just say, no, this is the date. If your panel's not in by then, tough cookies. But what happened is there was about five companies, maybe six companies that said, hey, we're, we're literally about to launch our new panel. So because of all of these issues, I thought, you know what? Stop it. I'm going to push it back. So now the plan is to get it out quarter one, 2024. Let's just say that quarter one, 2024. Now, while you wait for that, I've also got my Gimba Red Overclock review coming out. I've got the review of the Moto Red Light Moto Pro Plus panel. I'll have a first look at the new Biomax panel. I'm excited to see that. I'll have a video on options for Australian and New Zealand customers. And then finally, there's the pros and cons video looking at 11 new red light therapy panels. You can check that one out by clicking here. It's a good overview and it should keep you busy while I work on the big comparison video.